so hey, while I have those flavors happening, uh, yeah, lately, I don't know, guys, uh, we'll, we'll do a little talking here, uh, lately, I don't know, I've been hearing lots and lots about this Buddhism, okay, this seems to be a big movement going on. I've run into it in conversations online, whatever. Uh, the the praise of Buddhism these days. This stuff is kind of spreading from east to west like wildfire these days. Uh, I was just curious. I uh, picked up some literature on Buddhism just to read it, not because I want to be a Buddhist or become a Buddhist, but because I'm interested. I like to be informed on things because sometimes when you're informed on things, that's half the battle. Okay, so hey... Uh, as, as I only have a short time to talk, and sometimes these things get a little complicated, I'm just going to touch on a few factors here that I've come across. Um, okay, i gotta got to make make use of a book here, because it's, uh, it's hard for me to memorize all this stuff that I was reading. So, anyway, uh, this Buddhism thing, from what I've been reading, uh, it seems like it's pretty complicated stuff, okay? Uh, we have here Four Noble Truths, okay? Uh, to want it to live is to suffer, okay, and that I'll come back to that one. I'm going to bring that up. That's that's number one noble truth, okay. Then you can you can reach enlightenment by an eightfold path, okay, consisting of these of eight other things, okay, and then you have uh, you have uh, uh, atheistic uh, uh, kind of schools of Buddhism, I guess. Uh, you know, kind of classical, classical Buddhism falling under that, and then some are pantheistic, and some are theistic, and then after that you have small vessel Buddhism and large vessel Buddhism, and that's further divided into other categories. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other categories, and then we have Buddhists who worship Buddha as a god who have elevated him to godlike status. And then we have other Buddhists who have not and just think that he's a, a shower of the way. Uh, all right, this all seems pretty complicated. Okay, when I compare this to the Bible, all right, uh, we hear God saying down a voice from heaven, this is my son whom I love, and in, and with him I'm well pleased. Or, or yeah, I mean, that, that sounds a lot simpler to me. I don't know. Uh... Uh, we have Christ, who is the way, who comes and says it pretty clearly. I am the way. We have Buddha saying that I'm going to show you the way. I mean, I don't know. This stuff gets a little bit complicated. All right, then we have uh, we have here uh, in Buddhism. It seems to to, to to structure on reincarnation. Okay, so when you die, you're born again, and I guess you build up karm some kind of karmatic debt over time. Your sins are kind of like moral missteps, okay? And uh, uh, this, again, gets kind of gets kind of crazy here. And, and, and as suffering is in life, as Buddha noted, okay, that's true. Jesus said the same thing, okay? There will be suffering in this world, definitely, okay? But in the Buddhist, in this Buddhist belief where you're reincarnated over and over and over again, the suffering just, I can't, it never ends, I guess, unless you reach nirvana, which could take how many reincarnations to do this? Uh, it seems to me that I would be asking myself, where is the mercy in this, okay? Of living life after life after life of suffering, okay? And also, uh, uh, yeah, I, that, that just, to me, is just, it's just pretty wild stuff. I mean, uh, Jesus says once we have one life, we, we have one life to live in which we suffer, and then we're with him in heaven, and we have eternal salvation from there. So it, for me, it gets kind of confusing here as, as to what the big attraction of this is. I, uh... I read over and over, and I'm stumped, and I, and I can't really understand uh, what the point of living over and over and over and suffering uh, is. I, I just, I can't find that in my, in my heart. I'd rather look towards the merciful Father who, uh, who promises us 
only through faith in himself that we'll be with him after one lifetime of suffering. So guys, I don't know. I'm closing the book on this again. It's just, that baffles my mind and uh, it leaves me confused and I'm not quite sure. Perhaps more research to understand it. Do I want to put that time into it? I don't think so because I don't see a real point in that type of thinking. And uh, yeah, okay, whatever. There you go. Buddhism becoming popular and uh, I don't know. I just can't see I can't see the comparison between Buddhism and Christianity because Christianity, with God offering us so much and, and, and giving us such gifts that the whole world just doesn't turn to Him, that just, to me, that baffles me. But hey, I'll be back in 8 to 10 and I still won't have the answer to that question. All right, we'll see you. All right, welcome back to the panel. We're here again with La Victoria. Chunky jalapeno sauce. There you go. Look at that one more time. Wow, we what a good texture. What a good sauce. Really enjoyed this one, guys. Uh, it's a shame Jay wasn't here to join us. Uh, we could have had a good jalapeno show going with this one. But hey, doesn't matter. Still a good sauce. Uh, glad to bring it your way. So again, I urge you to check out all of these sauces. Uh, this one. Hey, you might be able to find in your local supermarket, but uh, definitely well worth your money and well worth your time spent eating it. All right, guys. So, hey, I'm going to wrap it with this one today. Uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be back next show. Uh, yeah, so show 180 coming up. Wow, maybe I'll have to think of something special for that one. So, uh, all right. Hey, you return to the Lord your God. Okay, read your Bible, say your prayers, and I'll be back. And when I say I'll be back, I don't mean next life. I mean next show. All right, we'll see you.